Hey guys, Abs here. It's been quite some time since I've been able to send out an email, but I'm taking out this time to create this video. Um, in this video, I'm going to be taking you through some new tools that we've been working on. We've had a number of emails from users asking us for our new tools. We've got some image editing and processing and posting tools um, that we've created. Uh, we've also got um, some Pinterest tools as well. Uh, we've got some new WordPress plugins as well. In this video, I will be showing you this image editing tool uh, because it is fantastic. It actually there's, there's so many things you can do with it. It allows you to post to Pinterest, Tumblr and your WordPress blogs. Um, it allows you to import a video and create animated GIFs from the video. So you can actually capture your most funniest moments and have them as an animated GIF. I'll take you through some examples in a moment as well, guys. Um, but I just want to make you aware that even though I haven't been able to send out any emails, um, our support forum has been up to date. Um, our tools have been updated. So you might have had a number of updates with the PR traffic booster or with the social hub builder um, or our bookmark lover system as well um, and one thing that everyone has expected from ourselves guys um, is new tools uh, with new abilities unique twists uh, that are going to actually be used and not kept on your hard drive and I really hope that you you are using the PR traffic booster the social hub builder social hub submitter um, and the bookmark lover system and our new image processing tool guys when you see it I'm sure you're going to be wowed uh, you know I've already shown this to a number of users and uh, they are like wow abs please do release it um, and a number of other users have actually asked for a demo um, so I'm actually, I'm actually going to take you through some demos now so you can actually see the uh, what we have actually been working on um, so I'll open up um, it's actually a build up from the PR pixel magic guys um, but and our current PR Pixel Magic users, uh, we are going to be looking after you guys, so don't worry about this whatsoever. Um, however, when we do release this software, it is more than likely going to be released as a brand new system and a brand new product altogether. Um, so as you can see, it's very similar to our previous one. Um, you've got our, you've got your Pinterest post buttons, your Tumblr post buttons, and your WordPress post buttons as well, guys. I'll take you through all these areas uh, briefly in a moment. Uh, you've also got your Harvester as well, where you can scrape your images and everything from the internet. Uh, you've got your image modifier. Now your image modifier has so many more features, you can compress images, you can add borders, you can rename images, you can add so many more effects, you can add blurs in this as well now. Um, you can make you can make images into an oil painting um, and so much more um, now we've got um, the memes section now you can do we support batch images and also um, we support batch images and also single images as well um, and when you actually, I'll actually take you through these now. Um, okay, I'll actually take you through these now. Um, I don't want you to feel that. I don't know which script to actually take you through because there's so many scripts in here. Um, so some of them are already available in other products. Um, but okay, what I'll do, I'll actually take you through a me uh, the meme section because I know you've seen so many animation sections and then I'll take you to the video sections as well. So what we'll do, we'll actually create a meme. Uh, you can search for images here. I can type in something like Halloween, for example. And this will actually search Flickr, um, Creative Co Common Images, guys. Um, and then from here, you can actually download whatever um, image you want. So, for example, I can download this image and it'll ask me where I want to download it. And I'll download it here. And as you can see, the image is just there. And what you notice as well, guys, it automatically gets imported in here. Now, with this, what I can do is um, I could actually go ahead and download more and more images if I wanted to, or I can actually, or I can actually work with this as well. I can create a custom meme, or I can create um, a meme from from here just by adding text top and text bottom without actually. Let me show you how it works. Okay, let's do this. Is okay. Happy Halloween glow lights okay and um, I'll click on add memes guys and as you can see that's actually been added there uh, we can actually change the color of this as well we can go to white we can change the font size as well um, and what we'll do we'll actually import that in here again Halloween and we'll click on add memes and as you can see that's a much larger one there now as well we can do this with the batch images as well and what the software does it actually automatically aligns the system uh, aligns the text for you towards the top and the bottom you can make the larger font and the smaller font as well or what you can do guys is actually customize your meme and do it singularly yourself um, now the way this works is I'll show you now I'll import that same image for example here Halloween and what we can do we can actually add text here so I can type in Halloween and then we can actually 
increase the font size if we want. We can change the font here as well. We go to impact, for example, and we can change the font color to white, for example, because you can't really see it there, but if I click out of here, then you can. Uh, and what we can do, we can actually add another one here as well. This is enter meme here. Have a nice time, for example. And we can change that color as well if we wanted to, for example, we can uh, do it as a, a red. Not gonna be any good there, is it, with the background there? Um, okay, we can do it as a cream there. We can even change that to, for example, Homer. Okay, have a nice time. You can increase the size and you can make it smaller and larger as well. Obviously, when you're, when you're using a white um, color, then the background, then you can't really um, see it. So you have to click away from here to see it. You can even add another image in here as well. So if you want to add an image, you can add an image. So for example, I could add, um, obviously, I'm no graphical expert guy, so I'm not adding some silly stuff here. So for example, this baby here, and I can actually increase the image size and decrease it as well. Um, and then once I'm happy with it all guys with the positioning and everything I'll just click on the the green buttons here And then what that's going to do is actually make the image for me So as you can see there's an image there and what you can also do as well is create banners from this as well guys So you can actually click on here and have a background. So I'm going to call this uh, plain white Okay, so this can be my background and from here. I'm going to click on the white button and it's going to tell me what size I want this at. So I'm going to click, leave it as the default size there, and I'm going to click on the green button. And there we go. We've got a plain background that we're working with now. And what I can do inside this plain background is write, um, this is my baby, for example, guys. This is just a mess around. And what I'll do, I'll actually have this as red text, and we'll have this as impact, for example. Okay, and I'll add an image in here. For example, there we go. And I'll add some more text at the bottom here. What you think. Okay, and I'm just going to quickly tick away on these guys. Um, and there you go. Obviously, there's, there's, I haven't done anything, anything good here. <laughs> you know, no special images to show you. But I'm just giving you a quick example. What you can also do as well, guys, is add your own backgrounds in there. So, for example, this background, um, add a nice image in here of a different baby if you wanted to, for example. Um, I've actually got a monster baby in here, baby monster. Um, and I'll resize him. I'll call him the monster, for example. And obviously you can change all these fonts here as well, guys. You can change the font size and everything as well. Um, and uh, we'll add another text here as well. Baby. Okay, and we'll keep them there. And obviously, you know, you can, if you add images in here as well, you wanted to add like a little stamp. So for example, you wanted to add something, if you add the right images, obviously, uh, like say, for example, you wanted to add, um, a hat on top of the baby um, and if you had the right hat with the right background as well guys um, then you can you know just get the right hat uh, get the right background as well align it properly um, and hopefully he's gonna have a hat on him but obviously you can't really see that hat here properly uh, well because it's got the background white on there okay so this is how you'd create memes guys very simple and you can do batch memes as well so for example if you had a folder like let's go to images in here okay here we go look we've got a few images there guys We'll actually import that whole folder in here. We'll just click on batch there and we'll go to images. Okay, and happy Halloween and glow lights. Um, and obviously guys, this works with spin syntax as well. And you can have one line of text on each one, for example, if you want different lines of text. Okay, let's have an example, happy Halloween, um, happy day. This is just giving an example, guys, but obviously you'd have a, um, some nice text on here. Um, and obviously this isn't a sales video, so I've got nothing to sell here. I'm just giving you the examples of how we can do it. Um, so, okay, here we go. And I'm going to click on Add Memes. And as you can see, that's going to be doing all these images in there. And Memes created successfully, Meme Image. And you can actually see them here. This one says, Happy Halloween, Happy Halloween. Uh, this one here says, Happy Halloween, Happy Halloween as well. Okay, this one says, Day, Day. Uh, this one says, okay, the reason they're the same sort of the same thing guys um, is because obviously they're corresponding underneath here as well, which is um, the way it's supposed to work. So you can actually um, align each one with each image if you want. 
Okay, so anyway, that isn't the best thing about this software. Yes, it can do memes. Yes, it can do standard memes and it can do custom memes as well. So you can add images, you can do other things on here as well. And then you've got merge and montage as well. I'll tell you exactly what this is. If we work with these images here again, guys, let's just delete these. Okay, so we're going to work with these same images here. Okay, I'm going to click image path. I'm going to go to images again. So that's this folder here, images. Okay, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to merge these. I'm going to do a horizontal merge first. And you can actually choose the image width and the height. And if you need to modify your images, guys, then you've got the image modifier tab. You can compress them if you want them to make small, if you want to make them smaller. You can resize the images as well. Um, so there's loads of things that you can really do on here. <clears throat> okay, and the number of merges, Im number of uh, merge images to create. I'm only going to create the one and the number of images to include in the merge. Um, so I'm going to say five. Okay, we've got so for example a few images there. I'm going to click on Run um, Merge Montage and. As you can see, if we have a look at this image now, we've got five images in there. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Now, sometimes you might not want five in there, you might want less. You can actually control that from here as well. Okay, we can say two. So, in this one now, guys, we've got two. Okay, and what you can do as well is you can actually tell it, okay, well, I want three sets of two. Okay, and what you'll see is actually use different ones. And here we go, we've got a pair there, a pair there, and a pair there. Um, so as you can see, nicely together. Um, and then what you can do is actually put these through the meme processor, add a nice little caption towards the top. Actually, we can, if I give you an example of um, the image modifier, oops, let's go up here. And I'm not sure how you actually pronounce that, v vignettes, I think, v vignettes, uh, not entirely sure. Okay, um, and what we'll do with upload, where are they, images, okay, and we'll convert them, okay, so that's converting all five images again, that's been done, and that's going to be modified images, um, okay, wrong one, okay, what this does, this actually adds um, like a background towards the middle. Let's have a, let's have, let's show you that one more time, guys. Uh, there's so many things you can do on here that I don't want to like get you really confused. Okay, so what we'll do is um, add, for example, a white background if you want. Okay, and we'll just create that as nothing there. Okay, so obviously, and as you can see, look at this image here. It's got a white background. It's got like a round circle in the middle, so it circles around the center. Um, I'm not really sure what you how you pronounce the the name. You can do it higher as well. Um, so you've got a control bar there, and you'll see the difference. And you can't really see much of the difference there. Uh, but once you get the right hang of it and the right precision on this, you can get it really well. Um, and obviously, as you can see here, that's like a white background there. Sometimes you can get it done really well for like Christmas images or Halloween images. Obviously, Halloween images might have like a a black background to it um, and a glowy effect towards the center if the images are um, you know glowy towards the center or yellow or goldeny or whatever um, again I'm not a graphic designer but I can but we have actually managed to get this developed in-house okay um, there are other effects on here as well um, okay th there's loads of other ones you, know, you can uh, do a colorize effect guys I'm not sure if you've seen these colorize effects I think you have okay there you go you've got colorize effects there you can create blurs as well I'll create blurs give you a quick example of the blurs oops we've selected the cl create colorize as well let's get out the create colorize let's create the blur okay and I'm not sure if you can actually see that that's kind of blurry compared to the original image which is this here um, and you can do it much much more as well so all of these are actually kind of blurry uh, we can make the effect much higher so you can barely see it so so here's a another blurry image guys uh, which is kind of cool obviously especially when you're merging images as well okay uh, you can apply more edge as well so I'll apply more edge on this one this time guys as you can see look at the effect there kind of uh, weird but it actually gives edges to the colors as well and you can make that much higher as well the higher it is the the longer time it's going to take to create you can create oil paintings as well guys so I'll create an oil painting here and uh, the oil painting effect look like it looks like it has much more to actually do and more colors to take into a, account as well um, so uh, it does take a little longer to actually work so it really depends on what script you're working with on how long it's going to take to do um, if it's just the one image and obviously it's going to be real fast so there you go, so oil painting guys, if you have a look there and have a look at the original image, which is, oops, where is it? Okay, okay, that's the image there. 
and here's the original image okay and there's another oil paint in there another oil paint in there guys okay and uh, you can create transparent background you can convert the images add borders compress them add more blurs and whatever um, okay so we're going over to let's do a vertical image this time okay and we'll click on run merge montage okay and there we go guys you've got the vertical ones this time okay what else can we do on this one as well here we go this is the create montage one and this is the one where we can actually add the title in here as well you can actually use the file name as the caption if you want to um, if you've got loads of images and you want to do batch images um, then you can actually load the file name as the caption or you can have a montage title um, so what we'll do is we'll add a border color of like a brown color there a background color of white so this is default settings um, my captions okay and number of images to include in montage five number of montages to create is one a number of mon images in a row is three um, okay what we'll do we'll do four okay so a number of images in a row is two okay so we should have two lines of two okay and I'll run create montage here we go it's in a new folder called montage image and if we have a look at that guys we've got my captions so your caption would be there and then you've got four images in there and what you can also do as well is actually do it so you can only create a caption for each one so for example if we said use one image only use one image only and create merge montage and as you can see guys that's just using the one image then it's kind of a cool effect um, it looks like a real cool like gallery kind of effect to be to be honest um, and it is used around the internet quite a lot so that's one of the reasons we actually put that in there um, and again if you you know number of images in a row if we say four um, a number of images to include if we say eight or something if there is eight I don't know you can just see how it works and again it, it supports spin syntax as well guys um, here we go here it is so you can really you know make your images real cool and then again from that image you can take it in compress it if you wanted to make an animation out of it you can make an animation out of it and so many more things and then straight away from this if you're happy with that image you can go to WordPress post you can go to post settings uh, you can import the image you can open up the um, editor and you can really edit your tools and choose what WordPress blog you want to post to and post away guys um, so it is real cool and the way you'd actually do it is you can do single images you can post albums as well so you can actually import a whole album so there you go it is the actual same images in the album anyway and uh, you'd actually edit your posts in here you can resize your images again in here as well if you wanted to before you post to WordPress um, and you can get them posted and you're all aware of the kind of speed of our software works guys um, so it is real fast to actually post to WordPress and you can do exactly the same with uh, Tumblr and you can do exactly the same with Pinterest as well guys um, and if you want to do batch posting so instead of posting just the one image so on this it allows you to post each image at any time you can actually click on upload post um, or you can just click on cross and that will actually save your post details um, and then you can actually go ahead and click on the post scripts and either publish you can schedule if you want to schedule or you can even save it as a draft if you want to save it as a draft and you can start posting um, and the settings are here how many posts you want to um, send to what categories you want to post to as well um, and the time of scheduling you want to schedule to and obviously the dates you want to schedule and it will allow you to make the amount of posts you want to schedule per day um, over a certain period of time okay so it's a very cool system guys um, alternatively you can just create your images save them to your hard drive and use them for later on um, okay so we can go to black and white you already know of watermark images you already know of but just to keep in mind guys we have two methods now we have single image batch uh, single image processing and we also have batch image processing guys um, and this is with nearly every single um, system or every single script that we have batch image processing and single image processing as well now animate animate video guys I'm gonna be taking you through this now and you've also got animation as well guys where you can actually enter your own animations in here or your own images in here so one frame um, choose the seconds how long you want them to last for and this will create your image for you this will create your animation for you one after the other alternatively import a video in here and tell the system how long where you want to extract the images from how many images you want to make the animation with as well so I've actually got an image I'll show you this one to start off with I've got a video here guys uh, in my demo and then funny cats okay so I've actually found a nice position I think it was around 29 seconds or something 
Here we go, this one here. I really like that picture there, and I thought I'd be able to grab that as an animation. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell the system that I want to import this video. Okay, so load video. I'm going to go to demo, and here it is, funny cats. Um, and I've actually got the position of the seconds and the clip that I want to capture. I've actually got it written down here, and I've got from 29 to 33. Okay, so from 29 seconds to 33 seconds is when I want to start extracting the images from that video. Okay, and the frames per second, I actually played around the settings and I had them down as 15. And because uh, I've already practiced with this movie because I was messing around with it and I really liked it, uh, especially cats, they're really funny nowadays as well. Um, and number of, okay, so that's my extraction. So I've entered a, a movie, I'm telling it to extract 15 frames per second, and I'm telling it to extract from the 29th second position, which is the 33rd second position. And I've got a number of options here saying extract images, so I can just extract the images, and or I can extract and animate, or I can just animate sequence. I'll show you them all now. Uh, but let's take a look at, first of all, um, extract and animate. So towards the top, here's the image settings now. So this is the GIF image settings. It's telling me down here, now the delay between each image in centiseconds, I'm gonna say zero, okay? And the width and height, 250, 250 guys, um, it is always advisable to keep GIFs, especially if you've got a number of images inside of there, um, quite small. Um, now 250, 250 is still fairly large. You see a number of GIFs being about 175 onwards, um, downward, sorry. Um, okay, and I'm gonna include 30 images in this GIF. Okay, and I'm gonna click on Extract and Animate. So it is gonna take a little time, but if I click on this folder here, guys, you can actually see what's happening. It's extracted all the images now. Okay, and uh, we'll actually wait here, because it should, here we go, and it's done. Now it's extracted all the images. Okay, I need to get these images all deleted in here. I don't know why it didn't delete them. But as you can see, the very first one is the animation. It should have actually deleted all of these images here as well. I'm really not sure why it didn't delete these images. Um, again, guys, it isn't for sale yet, but that doesn't really matter at the moment, but you should still see it work. Okay, so we'll go open it in Firefox. And there you go, guys, there's the animation. Real cool. Um, and then you can actually modify this as well. It allows you so much more control. So let's let's take a look at the extra control that it allows. Um, what I'm gonna do is, okay, let me just delete out of these here. Okay, I'm gonna delete all these here. I don't want none of these. Okay, I'm gonna go over to here, and this time I'm just gonna extract the images. Okay, so I'm gonna keep the same settings. Obviously, the it's not gonna make a GIF for me this time. It's just gonna extract the images. Oops. Okay, the issue that we had there, guys, is that we're on a different folder. So this has gone into images extracted. Okay, so I'll just say, okay, from these images downwards, I'm just going to delete them all. Because I don't want to play around with them. I'm only going to be using about 30 images in my GIF. Okay, and again, guys, here, it actually allows you to set how many GIFs you want to create. So if you want to create a number of GIFs, then you can as well. So what I'm going to do now is I can go ahead. I can go into each one of these images. If we have a look at these in... Nice. I can go into each one of these images and I can add something in here. If I wanted to, I can add something between their hands so it looks like they're clapping something or, you know, whatever, and then really animate it up again. But what I'm going to do, uh, just to save time on this video demonstration, is take it over to the memes. I'm going to point over to this folder here. So it was in demo, it was image extracted. Okay, and oops, you know what I need to do? I need to go into batch mode. Okay, so I need to go to demo, uh, images extracted. Fantastic. And I'm not going to put nothing towards the top. And towards the bottom, I'm going to put down cool cat. Yeah. If you if you know some of them cat phrases like the meows and whatever, uh, then obviously you can start adding them as well, which would be real cool. Um, I think, okay, we'll keep it in red. Uh, we'll keep that with impact. Uh, we'll keep the font size as, okay, it looks pretty cool. And I'll click on add memes. And now what this is doing, it's gonna add it, the cool cat towards the bottom. We could actually do it towards the top and cover up the bit.ly thanks author, whatever. Or you could actually import each one of these images uh, inside of the tool and crop them as well. Um, so you actually crop that image author out as well if you wanted to. Um, Okay, so there we go, the memes are done, and you know how many that was, guys? I'll just give you an example. That was 75 memes, by the way, so uh, obviously if you thought it took a little bit of time, that was 75 memes that I'd done. And here it is here, guys. 
As you can see, we've got a cool cat now. Not might not be the best way of actually doing it. And you can actually import each image singularly and customize the memes so they're done separately as well. And now what we can do is actually go to animation video again, and we can go to image folder path. Okay, and we'll go to the meme images because they're the images that we extracted and make created a meme out of. And we will go to animate sequence. And now it's animating the sequence here, guys, as you can see. And this time we're going to have the animated GIF uh, with our own little edits on there as well, uh, which is here. So you've got cool cat and the cat's there trying to clap the hands or, I don't know, playing grab with the water or whatever it is, uh, which is fairly cool. Um, again, guys, you know, if you wanted to create the Im images even more, you can include more frames as well. Um, if you wanted to make the images smaller, you can actually extract the images put them through the image compressor um, and compress the images first um, which is real cool guys and you do have so much control on this as well um, and and that's just an example of a you know of one clip that I've got from one video um, and if you wanted to make your videos go viral guys sorry your images go viral that, that's the whole idea about this that like allows you to have like a um, an image on there uh, sorry a video uh, rendered on a browser okay and the animation guys you already know that you can create animations now this animation here guys allows you to import a folder of random images so loads and loads of images um, and it will randomly create the images for you into a video sorry into an animated gif um, one after the other with a delay and everything um, and this section here allows you to actually add the images yourself so if I click on add I'll give you an example okay and as you can see this is the meme editor that pops up here um, I can import a video uh, sorry import a background so here's the background um, I can write make the text uh, say white okay and we'll, so we'll write something like text and then I'll be back okay I'm just gonna do real quick okay get high page rank backlinks for example um, and we can just save that over and then from here you can actually tell it okay I want this to be for a 50 second millisecond or sorry a 50 centisecond delay I'll add another image as well um, I can add another background if I stick with the same background um, and then go to my then go to I know, I know this is really a uh, real bad example, guys, um, but I'm hoping that you can use your own imaginations on this um, and really realize uh, the true potential on, on what I'm trying to show um, and not with my horrible examples. Um, then go to, for example, um, apply and save. Again, guys, you know, you can have you can have your own backgrounds on here as well if you wanted to. Uh, you can add your own image on here as well. Um, so say, for example, um, and then go to the scary monster but you're not going to want that in red in, in sorry you're not going to want that in that kind of go to like something like that um, get a higher text for example and then you just save them over guys uh, this is just an example and then what you do you actually create the animation uh, you'll save path if we go into demo again um, and what we'll do we'll actually make a new folder saved I don't know, uh, timeline, because this is like a timeline that we've actually created here for you, um, and that's how it works, um, and you can actually choose the height of the images as well, now the reason you want to choose the height guys, is so that you have your animation is all exactly the same um, size, okay, so there we go, it's done successfully, and uh, where do we save that, we save that into demo, and save timeline, and if I open that guys, um, then you can see the three images here, Real silly, obviously it's much faster than we wanted. Uh, we can increase that as well. We can do like 100, uh, 100, and we'll keep that one towards the end there. And we'll see how quick or how much difference that has made. And there we go, that's taking a little longer. And obviously here's a quick one here. Um, and there you go guys and obviously you'd mess around with it and make your own little animated gifs and banners and when you're ready with them and happy with them you can post directly to wordpress or your tumblr post or pinterest as well um, and there's so many more things that you can do with this as well guys anyway so that's one thing that we're working on guys um, and obviously we've got some we've got many more things that we're working on too and I, we will be making you aware of and i will be making you aware of personally um, of our tools before they come out um, so you can be sure to know uh, that you are getting the best products um, i really hope I haven't dragged this on guys and I hope that you have enjoyed watching this uh, because this is exactly what you're going to have at your disposal um, so you can create your memes you can do single memes you can do batch memes uh, you can merge 
images you can have like images montages whatever they're called whereby you can have captions in your images you can change the background colors you can change the border colors as well um, you can create black and white ones watermark sketches and what you can do you can even extract images from videos now um, and you can sequence them up even after you know modifying the images before sequencing them up now just imagine for example um, this cat here um, obviously this is like uh, treading water here with this with with uh, with its paws um, but if you had some other images where you had some dancing images and you know you can really pretend that the dancers like you know stepping on someone or um, you can do quite a few things really uh, you just need to use your imagination your imagination is going to be the limit with this um, and I really hope to have this out soon guys but I will keep you updated regardless thank you very much and if you do have any questions or any um, queries then please feel free to get in contact with us